going to be real with you guys. I just resigned from my job with the state of California, and I'm going all in. I don't have a job secured yet, but I'm working on it. And I guess I'm just going to try and document what I'm, what I'm working on and how it is to get around and get established and get things popping off here in Los Angeles. So I'm going to try to do more YouTube and show you guys what it's really like to be down here and um, make it happen in Los Angeles. So hopefully I can do videos once a week. I'll try and film throughout my week and see what the hell I can get popping off. But um, I just moved in over this past weekend. So I still have a lot more to put away and do. I have a huge to-do list, but I'm going to try and just show you guys what it's like to make it happen here in Los Angeles. Look, I love you guys. This is my background because I love you guys so much. The background, is this is the making of my music video, Hear This. And every time I open my laptop and turn this on, I put a big smile on my face because of all you guys. So let's do it. Well, join me as we take a trip through not just the shiny, tall buildings of Jakarta, but also the underbelly of everything that makes Jakarta one of the most popular, culturally attractive places in the world. Join me. Join me. I'm Vince Vicari, and you're not. Today I filmed this little uh, hosting reel for a job I applied for to be a host like a TV show. So I have my little like notes here. Um, but like for me, like after like four or five run-throughs, I'm just like lose the notes. I got it, and then something just unlocks in me, and then I'm just like, dude, we're in it. I'm ready to I'm ready to host something. So shout out to Josh for helping me shoot this thing really quickly today and edit it and get it up on the internet and email it out. That's just uh, one small thing we've been doing today. Doing this week. <laughs> it's the first time in my life I've ever purchased a shower curtain. I've made it this far without ever owning one, but whatever, I got it. Look at this. Bam! Matches this random accent wall that this apartment came with. So, what's up? Deep teal and gold. Mess with your boy. I've been uh, applying for like little gigs, like doing commercials and stuff. Hold on, I think my, my lens is smoky. Ooh, thanks. I, uh, I've been trying to apply for all kinds of little gigs and stuff, and commercials, and some of these commercials, they need like a little audition tape. So I'm trying to film audition tapes, so I'm gonna stop by my buddy Josh's house, Josh from Step Boys, AKA ABDC. Can you guys remember back that far? Um, to try and film some, uh, <laughs> he's gonna help me film some little audition stuff to send to people. And I'm here with my homie Smooch, she's back here too. We're field tripping it today. Getting some work done, then we gotta go to the mall, gotta go to Walmart, you know, that kind of stuff. I don't know if Josh is gonna open up. Right now I'm picking up my homie Dave. We're gonna get some haircuts because uh, I have an audition with The Voice tomorrow. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that, but I have a private audition with The Voice. So we're gonna see what's up. What's up, Dave? I'm trying to vlog. It's Dave. Yo. Tell tell the people about the haircut lady we get. Where we tell where do we go and who is she and all that stuff. Oh, she's a trip, man. We go to. Uh, K Town, which is Koreatown in Los Angeles, uh -huh. and um, it's this lady that owns the shop. She's Japanese. She has a thick accent, but she speaks fluent Spanish. Mm -hmm. It is the trippiest paradox. Dave 
grew up right on the street here in Koreatown. And his uncle's right here. So we stopped to say hi to his uncle and take some pictures. So fun fact, I've actually auditioned for The Voice a total of six times before. This is a, a private audition. They've invited me to come do this. So I'm going to come do it. It's super close by. I have three to four songs prepared. For once in my life, I'm going to try really hard to not overthink things. I haven't practiced a ton. I know the songs really well. I just want to chill, come into it, have fun, relax, and not overthink anything. So I'm going to do some cardio right now and then practice my music in the jam room, shower, get ready, try and chill out and enjoy my audition no matter what. So I just got done with my audition with The Voice. I got invited, I got invited to an appointment audition, so it's like a private audition. I got to do two songs and they said thanks but no thanks and I asked them for feedback and they said that I'm I'm an entertainer and I'm a full, I'm the full package and this is more of a singing competition and it's like more just the vocals and not the whole package so that made me feel it reaffirmed some stuff for me because I, I know that I'm really am an entertainer and that's just my nature and I was wondering if I would really be able to fit into a singing competition because to me I like to do everything not just sing but like do the outfits do the energy get the crowd involved and for that reason I'm sure that I'm not the right fit for the voice but regardless I got invited got to give him two songs um, really cool they gave me great feedback and the people on the voice are super nice so the producers are both super nice and I had a good time and I wasn't nervous at all they told me to come as the artist that I am and that's what I did I came in my jumpsuit shout out to Samuel Rose so I came as the artist I am I threw it down I did she works hard for the money by Donna Summer and I did lights down low by Max and then in my back pocket I had Chunky by Bruno Mars, and then uh, Beautiful by Christina Aguilera. I was going to do it on the piano. But I got to do two songs, had a good time. I feel fulfilled. That feedback really solidifies stuff for me, knowing that, yes, I am indeed an entertainer. And like I said, you know, some of the biggest stars and the biggest you know, rock stars and entertainers, they would never make it on a singing show because it's not just about the singing alone. And I totally agree with that, and I appreciate that feedback because I know that I have more to give than just singing and just vocals. There's this creative mind of mine that when I sing there's so much of a visual element and an energetic component that I can't help but bring so that's just me as an artist so it was re really reaffirming to hear that today but now I know what to focus on and it's not singing competition shows it's the whole package kind of shows so how can I put my own show together you know what I'm saying yeah oh man it's a good feeling I honest to god it feel good leading this audition so hell yeah The word on the street is the choir for Kanye West, his whole gospel church thing he does. They're rehearsing here today. Thanks, man. My friend made it. Thank you. It's been a long week, and I need to chill out. I'm going to show you how I chill out. Okay. So I'm going to float away. And it might not sound like it right now, but I'm going to chill out. Watch. I really need this after spending a month plus on the grind trying to make it work in LA and wrapping up things here in Sacramento. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna float right now, all right? BRB.